Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the May 2014 Grade 7-8 Contest Question 23, which also came up in the Grade 9-10 and 11-12 Contest. So the question is, Yvonne leaves school and drives straight to work. If her speed averages 30 km per hour, she'll be exactly 18 minutes late for work. Whereas if her travel speed averages 45 km per hour, she will arrive exactly 8 minutes early to work. What is the distance in kilometers between Yvonne's school and work? Okay, so this question deals with velocity, distance, and time. So one relation that combines these three is V equals S over T, which is velocity equals distance divided by time. So distance will be as S, and time will be as T. And where S is equal to X kilometers, and where T is equal to M minutes. Okay. So now let's see what the question tells us. The first bit of information that we will use is it says that the speed averages 30 kilometers per hour, then she'll be exactly 18 minutes late for work. Okay, so we know that the velocity is 30 kilometers per hour. So to have everything in minutes, we will write it as 30 kilometers per 60 minutes. And now this is equal to the distance, which is x kilometers, divided by, and then it would be m minutes, but that's when she arrives exactly on time. And since she is 18 minutes late, then it will be m minutes plus 18 minutes. Okay, and now the second bit of information that we will use is that it says that the speed averages 45 kilometers per hour, then she will arrive exactly 8 minutes early. Okay, so now we will do the same thing. And that is equal to the same distance and then we have m minutes but now it's minus 8 minutes because she's 8 minutes early. Okay, so for the first equation so 30 and 60, they cancel to 1 over 2. And then the kilometers cancel out, and also the minutes. So then what we are left with is m plus 18. And then that is equal to x. Now we have this because we multiply this to here to have only x on the right side. Okay? So now we'll do that for here. So then we have 3 over 4. And then the kilometers cancel out. And so do the minutes. So then we have m minus 8. And as we can see, that is equal to x. So we know that since that is equal to x and this is equal to x, this must be equal to this. Okay, so now we will have 1 over 2 times m plus 18 equal to 3 over 4 times n mi m minus 8. So what we will, we will already do is multiply both sides by 4. So then we will have 2m 
plus 2 times 18 is 36. So we'll have 2m plus 36. And that will be equal to this. So when we multiply this by 4, we have 3 times m minus 8. So that is 3m. And then we have 3 times minus 8, which is minus 24. So we will, if we keep the m's on this side, 3m minus 2m is m. So now I will just write it on this side. And if we have just the numbers on this side, 36, then plus 24 is 60. So we have m is equal to 60. Okay. So now, since we have this, since our goal was to eliminate one variable in order to find, to only have one equation for one variable, because since we solved for that one variable here, we have m equals 60, now we can substitute this into here to find x, which is the other variable. Because then we only have one equation for one variable, which was our goal from the start. So we have x is equal to, then we have 1 over 2, then we have m, which is 60 plus 18, which is 78. So then we have 78 over 2. And 78 divided by 2 is 39. So the distance is 39 kilometers. So as we can see here, it says what is the distance in kilometers, we can see the right answer is option D, 39. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca slash caribou.